Chelsea. This month's episode is a little different. I'm hanging out with my dad, who just happens to be TV home improvement expert, Danny Lipford. Today, we're at his river cabin, which is the definition of rustic. He built it over 30 years ago, and not much has changed. So I'm here to mix it up and add some Chelsea to the place. Ready, Dad? I'm ready, let's do it. Let's go. This cabin has been in my family longer than I have. We've spent countless Independence Days throwing a line in the pond, grilling out, and sometimes even floating down the river. It's nothing fancy, but it's given me so many memories. So today, I'm hoping to create a few more while giving a little something back. All right, it doesn't look too bad in here. Yeah. You remember all the pictures we had there? That's the first 10 years down here. I gotta get the, the next 10 years and the then the third 10 years. But you know this place is, so let's see, it would be six years older than you are. I know we came down here to relax, but I got a feeling that we're not gonna relax <laughs> well, that much. Well, we can relax, but I have some things that we should do first, and then we can relax. So what are you going to do to my cabin to improve it? How can you improve it? How this? can you improve it? <laughs> Although it definitely has its charm, this cabin, like most places, has always been a work in progress. Today, we'll start off small. Will you grab that bathroom mirror and meet me downstairs? Bathroom mirror. Okay, Dad, here's what I was thinking, that we all would right. take some rope and wrap it around the base of the lamps. Just all regular the, rope. Yep, all the way up. And then we would hold this burlap over the shade while we spray paint it. Not, so that, you're not gluing that to it? No, but it would just give it a little texture, but with a different color. Hmm. Yeah, but first I want to start with the mirror. Nothing wrong with my mirror. <laughs> and we'll enhance it with a frame around it. But to do that, we have to go on a scavenger hunt. So let's go. I love the idea of enhancing a project with existing natural elements. So for this mirror project, we're scouting out small pieces of driftwood to create the frame. Now see, the water came up earlier in the week and it washed all that stuff up here. What I'm looking for is like this, thin. And while we're at it, my dad is picking up a few larger pieces of wood for some future projects. These are the pieces I like, see. Oh, could be like a saxophone. Yeah, I need a little more work on it. <laughs> hey, look how giant that feather is. Looks like one of those quill pens you buy at the um, American Heritage Museum. Mm -hmm. I found one of those this morning, right up here in the same spot. I know, there's a naked bird running around. <laughs> With all of our sticks gathered, we need to break them down into smaller pieces. Now we're ready to get started. For this project, you'll need a plain mirror, construction adhesive and a caulk gun, some sticks, preferably driftwood, and then we'll finish it off with some polyurethane. Okay, Dad, let's lay them out and see what we want before we glue them down. Need to clean some of those yeah. things. You're just so gonna just glue, these, go like this. glue these to the. Why not put the whole big on, sticks all the way stick around? The mud. There is no mud. <laughs> so I don't understand. I knew this might be a challenge from the beginning. My dad is used to being the one in charge, so sometimes I have to wear him down a little bit before he's ready to take direction. Is this what your vision? What do you think? I mean, I can see it making it, I don't know. But they definitely need to be staggered. And maybe different sizes. Yeah, exactly. Once we like it, then we'll clean off the sticks and clean off the mirror and glue it down. All right, I guess I guess I, I guess I can see it. A little texture. You get a little texture. texture in there. All right, I'm getting into it now. <laughs> okay. All right. Once we like our pattern, which my dad is clearly warming up to. This is more like my line of work. We're ready to clean the sticks and glue them in place. We're running a small bead of adhesive onto each stick, then placing them on the mirror. We're also setting the sticks close enough together to cover the mirror underneath the frame. I'll never look at a pile of sticks the same again. 
<laughs> yeah, you'll be seeing your face in the middle of it. <laughs> well, that's true. Once our frame is set, we mask off the mirror and get ready to coat it with a polyurethane spray. I can handle this. Okay, just a light spritz just to help preserve them. It's always best to spray multiple light coats rather than one heavy coat. That's way too much, way too much, Dad. Unfortunately, my dad isn't a very big fan of this concept. Let me give it a try. That'd be actually a nice effect. We're using a spray that has a satin sheen. It looks really shiny at first, but it'll dull as it dries. Dad, 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 you're an addict. Stop. Taking the can away. After you've completely covered all sides of the wood with the sealer, carefully remove the masking tape. To accelerate the dry time, we're placing it out in the sun. This mirror will be ready to hang in no time. Between projects, we decided to take a break for lunch. Nothing like cheeseburgers in paradise. Golly, there's zillions of them. What's that, you working on the pond? Uh-huh, it's right in, the, right in the middle. Is that you or mom? That's me. <laughs> me or mom. I don't know, your hair's a little longer. Is that you? Yeah. Right before a float trip. The float trips, they were always good, weren't they? With two full bellies, we're ready to get back to work. To refinish our lamps, we're going to use scissors and rope, hot glue, painter's tape, white and a colored spray paint, and burlap. Okay, Dad, let's take the shade off of the base of the lamp. Okay. And then we'll set the shades aside while we spray paint the bases. There. Okay, and then... Does that come up? You, oh my gosh. Now you have to pinch it together. So this goes up, and this goes <laughs> Never mind, just go sit down. How are you doing? And then that? You, you pull the little tabs up and then you pinch it together so oh. it comes out of the ground. Now you can slip the shade up. Oh, look at there, did it all by myself. Yeah. We're gonna paint the bases white okay. first so that the flowers don't show through the rope. Gotcha. This rope is a little weird, but for some reason it sure seemed like it's gonna look better than this did. It never did fit into my yeah, specialized a decor that it's I have. Special. In my that's one way to put it. Alrighty. After removing the shades, we cover anything that we don't want painted with masking tape. Oh, that is obnoxious. Oh my gosh, stop that. It's so wasteful. Oh, I got plenty of tape. If I'm done, you're you're still. I'll start shaking. Yeah, there you Which go. Which one we're painting with? White or the green? The white one. Or whatever that's called. It's like a seafoam blue. Seafoam blue. We're also using the same white spray primer to cover both lampshades. This will give us a base coat for our seafoam blue paint, or green as Dad calls it. Okay, Dad, do you want to man the glue gun over there? I'll be glad to. I love the glue guns. You got it heated up? Yeah, just don't, yeah, don't touch the end. All right. We'll start the rope on the back side by the cord, and then we'll make sure we end in the back too, so that okay. you never see the seam. Oh, okay. Look at that, look at that. Man, we should be finished within two or three days. <laughs> Gosh. Here, you might need another glue stick in there. Already? Yeah, put it back in. Oh, it goes man. fast. I love this. It's giving my cabin a nautical kind of a feel. Yeah, well, this on the water. Mm-hmm. I could hang little fishing lures on this. And then you scratch your hand when you go to turn on the lamp. Oh, yeah. I need one of those clappers. This is going to take a long time. Why don't you get a bigger rope? Hot glue dries very fast, so only work with a small section at a time. We're running a bead half the lamp base before setting the rope into it. Ow! Uh-uh. <laughs> I pulled a Danny on you. Don't do that to me. He may not want to admit it, but I think my dad is enjoying this craft project just as much as I am. All right, that worked out pretty good. What's next? Let's work on the lampshades over here. Okay. 
got a little technique I All want right. you to try out. I feel like this is arts and crafts class. It is. Oh, so we're going to so what I want to glue do, this on there. We're not going to glue it, but we're going to use it as a stencil. Huh. So we're just going to cut it to size and just tape it, and then you'll walk around and spray it. Will it go spray, through that? Yeah, it'll spray through it and leave a, Fake burlap. A sort, yeah. Wow. It won't be exactly. Faux burlap. Okay. This is a real manly color here for my cabin. I thought so. Mm -hmm. This I have never done before. We're going for a very subtle look, so we're just spraying one light coat. If you wanted it to stand out more, you could spray two or even three coats. The most important part, though, is to hold the burlap tight against the shade. Okay, Dad, I'm really proud of you, but now we have to finish the job. The word funky comes to mind. Funky? This is well, pretty funky. Does it not come to mind when you think of the river cabin? Yeah, yeah. So that's appropriate? E eclectic. Oh. Yeah. So you want to put that shade on that lamp? All right, you ready to take them upstairs? That's where the light bulbs are. See, I told you we get to relax. Well, this is what I thought we'd be doing all day long, but it was a different kind of relaxing. I had a great time. I have so many ideas for upcoming projects. Follow along on Facebook so you don't miss out.